everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to make the Hainanese chicken in an instant pot if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook all right something happened with my video clips but this was too good not to share so i'm going to just use a bunch of pictures and we're going to make this work like I wrote in the directions, you can use up to eight chicken thighs for this. You can use breast as well, but I think thighs are, you know, dark meat, just more moist. Just make sure you season both sides, and then we're going to use some ginger and scrape it off with the back of a spoon or the back of your knife and just gently scrape it all off until it's all clean so you don't lose any of your ginger pieces. Then we're just going to cut four slices and set the rest of the ginger aside for use later. Next, grab about three green onions, and we're just gonna tie them into knots after we clean them. If you can't tie them into knots, no big deal. Just skip that part. Now grab four garlics and just mince them up into little pieces. You're going to need two shallots, and we're just gonna go ahead and mince up one of the two shallots first. Once everything is minced up, go ahead and grab your Instant Pot, set it on the saute function, and add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Swirl the oil around the bottom of your pan to make sure it's evenly coated. Then add your minced garlic and shallots right into the pot. We're gonna saute this for a few minutes just until you can see that your shallots become a little bit translucent. Now let's start adding our chicken one at a time into the bottom of your pot. I am using four, but again, you can do up to eight. Just throw them all in there at once, it's fine. Then add your four cups of water right into the pot carefully. Now let's grab our green onions and ginger slices and place them right on top. Place your lid right on top and make sure your knob is set to seal. Going back to our buttons, go ahead and press cancel from our saute function and then we're going to pressure cook this for 6 minutes. Now after that fried rice fiasco, you guys know how I feel about rice in the instant pot, so I'm going to make mine in a separate pot. Obviously if you want to make it all together you can, but that's just not what I'm going to be doing. So, so I am using 2 cups of rice and I'm going to rinse this a few times until the water runs clear. Then I will drain it and set it aside. Now let's get back to our cutting board. We're going to mince the rest of the ginger we initially started with, as well as the second shallot, the second bulb of shallot that we're going to be using. Also grab about five green onions. You can use a little bit less if you like, but I found five to be perfect with what I'm using here. And all we're going to do is dice and mince everything up all together so that we can saute this in a frying pan. Once this is all cooked up, you guys are going to love the way this tastes with every single bite that you eat this with. It is absolutely delicious together this is like to me essential for this dish but again just saute them in a frying pan until everything is translucent and then we're just going to set it aside in a bowl until we're ready to serve it with our final dish all right since we've done all of that the six minutes will go by really fast and everything should be done make sure you turn your knob to the vent side letting it naturally release for a few minutes and then pull out your chicken one at a time placing them into a separate bowl You'll find some people actually place their chickens into like a bowl of ice water, but I mean, I have to use the broth or something else. So I'm just putting it in a separate bowl and I'm gonna set it aside in the fridge until I'm ready to serve it. So if you're gonna be doing what I'm doing, go ahead and grab that rice pot that we had just rinsed out. And we're gonna add two cups of broth right into it and then we're gonna cook it like normal. If you guys like to dip your chicken with some sort of sauce, I have two versions here, one spicy and one non-spicy. Use that to dip your chicken if you'd like. I find it completely unnecessary. But go ahead and garnish this with some cucumbers and tomatoes and enjoy. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next time, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.